Hello and welcome back to part two of drawing and rigging a character for animation. On the first tutorial we made this little guy and now we're going to just draw a uh, single shape and add bones to it. So we'll bring this back to layer or uh, frame uh, zero and we need to get this guy out of the way because we're going to um, draw our character right in the center here. So what we need to do is move this layer and the way that you can do that is click on the translate layer tool and just drag anywhere and drag them off to the side. And then I'll um, click here again and zoom in, hold the space bar down and move into position. Okay so now we need a new um, vector layer. Click here on new layer vector and now I have a new vector layer up here. And we're going to start drawing with this tool here, the add point tool. And we're going to basically draw the same type of character. Won't be exactly the same. But I just start by drawing and holding down the mouse and dragging. Now if I missed and uh, drew a line like this, it's not connected. But you can always press control Z on the keyboard or you can just go back and click on the point here, drag across until it um, touches the next one and drop it and it makes a little clicking sound to let you know that it's connected. Okay, and as soon as you're done it fills in because we have auto um, fill in. And now we want to draw the body. Just click on here. It's going to be the big drag on there. Notice it didn't fill in. That's okay. Now you can also add points. Just click on the line once and then draw your leg. And our shape's done. So I'll press enter, deselect everything. Now what I want to do is get this same type of fill. So I'm going to click on this select shape tool and click in the center of the head and then go over here and click on the uh, paint bucket tool and just click in these shapes inside and they fill in. Now uh, as we did before by adding a bone layer we're going to do that again so click on new and bone and you might notice I didn't draw any arms did that on purpose so I'm going to put this in here and now I'm ready to add bones again. So I'll add the spine, the legs, go through this really fast. the head bone and I'm going to put the arm bones in. Okay that's alright. And that will do a little bit of moving around and see what happens. Okay it works just about the same. Go back and then I'm going to click on the layer 2 here and you see that the points are there but they're not selected and I'm going to draw in the arms. This is helpful if you have like a pre-drawn skeleton. Now what happened right there is I click and dragged on the line you can also do that to reshape your lines or if you just click on it once it adds a point. And then we'll do the same for filling it in. Click on the head layer or any layer now or I'm sorry not layer but shape. Click in here and then go back to the bones layer. Select the translate bone and now you can see that it's attached. It's a very nice feature because you don't have to do any extra steps, just redraw your character. 
Okay. And then uh, this layer here, I want to move it down. And then we'll look at scaling it a little bit. Click on the scale tool and we can scale it up or down. And also that's a rotate tool. Rotate your layer around. So we have these two guys here. And I'll go to frame one. And the one guy disappears because of course he was um, originally here, but we can fix him. Click on him again, translate him, put him right back, and he'll be okay. And I'll go out here to about frame 12, and I'll select the first one. Now we'll get into, you can always double click this and name it. Now we have guy one, guy two. You know, and it depends. For the sake of this tutorial, we're just uh, fixing it up. Now you can put shapes on different layers too, so that you can stack them up and down. Uh, they're stacking or just drag and drop. You can move them up or down, and they go on top. So if um, See the stacking order, just like if you were laying pieces of uh, plastic on top of each other. Now, since we were in animation mode, he's going to be moving around quite a bit. And let's say right here, I want them to be waving a little bit. And you can always go back and add other parts. Okay, so let's take a look at maybe we want them to repeat over and over what they're doing. Just play this and see how it looks. Press spacebar on the keyboard. Okay, spacebar starts and stops your animation. Now maybe we want this to loop a couple of times, so make sure uh, guy two here. I'll just name him. Click on the last point here. Now you know our animation started on frame one, so I'll click on the point and then right-click it and go to cycle, and then set it to cycle. It'll do the exact same thing. Uh, through the whole timeline and never stop. Um, we'll put it on frame one so it starts on frame one. And if I press spacebar now, you'll see he'll, he'll just keep doing it, waving to us over and over again. Same way with guy one here. Click on him, his point cycle, and then they're waving to us. Try it out. Start getting the feel for the tools. Uh, learn shortcut keys so when you're drawing your rigs that uh, you can switch back and forth without having to go back over to this palette. And uh, name your layers. Give them good uh, distinctive names. And also um, on your bodies, like we did this one, um, go ahead and make as many layers as you want. One for the head, one for the body, one for the arms. It doesn't matter. And uh, then when you make your bone layer, you just drag all of those uh, different body part layers on top of your bone layer until it turns red and drop it. And then it'll all be encased in that bone layer so that when you add your bones, then it's going to affect uh, all the parts that are inside there. So 